Hi. Now, our requirement is we have this data and we need to calculate total salary based on salary plus commission. Right? Now, what we have done in previously, we have uploaded all the data into this collection. Right? Now, we have a data here. Now, in this collection, when you have a data, if you want to use this data from the collection, what we need to do, we have to use loop, right? Without loop, we cannot able to get the data from collection. So what we have to do, we have to use loop here. Let's use a loop. Loop start, loop end will come. And when it is coming to loop start, okay. close instance before that, okay. Double click on that and then it will ask you which collection name. This is our collection name. Okay. Now what we have to do? We need to calculate this salary plus commission. Collection dot column name, right? Data dot salary plus data dot commission equal to total salary. Now our requirement is we need to calculate total salary and then we need to store back into this particular collection. Store, observe this. Store back into this particular collection total salary column. Okay. Observe one more thing. When we are pulling the data from collection, Excel to collection, all your column data type is text. This is undefined collection. We used to call it as a undefined collection. Now, we need to calculate for that we have to use calculation shape use calculation shape double click on that what we need to do from the collection data dot salary plus columns is case sensitive data dot comm right Observe that COM commission. COM commission. Now, where you need to store? We need to store that into total salary. Store that into total salary. Data dot total salary. Right? Just cross check total salary cross check the column name okay so be careful if you have any spaces in column names it will not allow it will throw error okay now here we are storing okay now after that let me run up to here and just observe let me remove this link we will get one error i will explain why we are getting that error. Observe this. It will get the data here to collection. Once you get the data into the collection, then it will pick the data one by one from the loop and then it is going to calculate. Observe this. Data dot salary plus data dot commission cannot add to text because what is the data types for the salary and commission? Both are text. Can you able to add a text? No, right? In this case, what we need to do is we need to convert, observe this conversion to number. We need to convert that into two number. Just use this. So from here to here. Two number, right? The same way we need to convert this one also into two number. Now it has been converted, right? We are converting. Same way, based on our requirement, we can convert, we can use the conversions. Click OK. Now reset one error. Okay, this is because of this one. Okay, let's run this now. Now it will calculate and then it will store back 
all the values into this particular collection. See this? Now it is picking and then it is storing back the values. So once the process is done, it will close, right? Now, what is our requirement? So now we will get the values into this total salary, but what we need to do, we need to write back into our same Excel file, right? For that, what we need to do is to write back into the same Excel file, we have to use write collection. So we have another action in your VBO, in MS Excel VBO, write collection. We have to use that write collection. Now, use this MS Excel VBO. Observe this, write collection. What all the things it is asking? Handle, we know the handle. Workbook name, we know the workbook name. Use the workbook name and then worksheet name. Which sheet you need to write the data? If you want to write that data into the sheet one, that is fine. Or if you want to write the data into the sheet two, use that one and then give it here. Then input will be in one sheet, output will be in one sheet. And then which collection data you need to write? This collection data we need to write. And observe this cell reference. What is this cell reference? Cell reference means when you come to the Excel file, if you click on this here, observe this G8, G and 8, the column G and then row 8. That is nothing but a cell reference. If you want to write the data from D5, then the, from here, D column 5, this is cell reference. So let's give D5 here. We need to write the data from D5. Okay, and include column names. When you are writing the data, do you want the column names or not? That is true. Yes, required. Output will be nothing. Click OK. It will write the data into where? Excel file. Once you have write the data, then we have to save that, right? We have to save that Excel file. For that, save workbook. We have two actions like save workbook and save workbook as. Based on our requirement, we can use save workbook means it will save into the same workbook. Save workbook as means like save as. It will work as a save as. See this? Save workbook. Save workbook, it will save. We will use the both the things. Workbook name. Which workbook name? What is the workbook name? Here we have workbook name. Save workbook, right? And if you use save workbook as, it will save that as a separate Excel file. Let me show you that also. This one, save, save as. Save workbook as. See this, when you are using this, it will ask you handle, save file name. File name, is where you want to save that Excel file. Let me take the same path, copy as a path, and then we will give the different file name. Different EMP will give out.excel file, Excel access. Then automatically it will go to this path and then it will create new workbook. Okay, so if you, if you don't have the workbook name, so no need to bother. So it automatically it will create a workbook name here. Let's observe this. Okay, after that, this is common close instance. We have to do. Okay. Now what we are doing? So we are writing the data into separate Excel file. We are saving and then we are using the close instance. Let's run this and then observe. Let me close this Excel file. Reset and then run. Okay. 
will calculate first it will write the data into this collection first once it's written the data into the collection from this collection it will take and then it will write into the excel file back after that it is going to save and then save as it will create a new excel file as a output after that it will close instance now everything is done now come here see this emp output it has been created as a separate excel file if you want to write into the separate excel file see this from where it has written d5 with the column names right into the sheet 2 if you observe in that save we have used save right instead of save or book as save also we have used if you observe this it will write the data into the second worksheet and then here also it have a data so sheet one is your input sheet two is your output so like this so based on our requirement we are going to use different different actions in ms excel vpo thank you